안녕하세요 유니스입니다. I am so glad to meet you, and I'm just happy to be here. And so let's just get started. Um, I just washed my face first. I uh, just kind of wipe my face with um, some toner so that it's not so tight. I'm going to put on some snail mucin on my face. That sounds gross, but basically. It's this Cosar X, but it's basically just kind of a gel moisturizer serum. It's really, really refreshing. daylight SPF 50. It's a little greasy. I can make do. Okay. Tap it in. I want to share with you a few things that Korean makeup artists do that you might not know. So taking a foundation stick that is a little bit dark for you or that you wouldn't wear everywhere, just put it on the perimeter of your face. but it's very creamy and it's never going to cake or flake on you. So I like to put it under where I have dark circles. Just blend it out. So don't you think blend tapping <laughs> blending is like is so fun. And what is it about watching beauty YouTubers? We're watching makeup tutorials that's so just relaxing. It's just so much fun. Okay, and why do girls even like makeup? It's interesting how we work it that way. So I'm gonna do one more layer. Let's put a little bit of primer. No problem. I didn't put foundation on the center of my face yet, the star zone, which is right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of primer just on my uh, nose and front cheek area so that are less visible. I'm All Hours Foundation by YSL. I'm in the shade B20 and I'm going to use foundation brush. Make sure it's evenly coated. I'm just going to put it on the center of my face. And this is kind of like one of the foundations that sets super quickly. You have to work fast. An oldie. just like you just 
dunked your face in powder. Swipe with the fluffy brush. And I kind of extend it out here since I want the eye shape to be a little bit longer. I'm going to take a smaller brush, like a pencil brush like this, and do the same to the under eye area. And one trick is we want to fill in this triangle zone. So the triangle zone is this area. And when we fill it in after you do eyeliner and mascara and all of that, it makes your eye shape look longer. I'm going to use this Stila Lionfish, and my friend told me about it, it's like her favorite. So I'm going to line my eyes. And so after you line my eyes, uh, extend the tail, and then what I do is I just kind of grab my fingernail, and it makes a nice wing. A gel pot eyeliner from L'Oreal and I literally tell all of my friends to buy this one. They ask me what eyeliner to get. I always say this one because it's really good price and it lasts the longest. And I'm going to um, line the inside of my waterline. And lining the inside is really important because it really defines it. So these days I kind of like to go down a little bit right, right here and then extend it horizontally, not too cat eye, not down, so that the shape of the eye is just looks longer than normal. And I think this is pretty flattering for most eye shapes too. And let's give our eyelashes a good curl. Another trick we people use is lighter and a matchstick so yeah only do this if you're over 18 just make sure it's not burning and then curl your eyelashes like this and you could do this before or after mascara I find um, in some ways it's good before mascara to make sure all the eyelashes are going in the nice in a nice direction all curled and then the mascara goes on better more cleanly like this burgundy eyeshadow because I kind of like burgundy these days take a burgundy eyeshadow and smudge out a little bit just to give and for lips I put on Pigal by NARS and this is a pink pink choco color looks a little bit dark but it's just a really pretty pink beige color and I just tap it on the lips and spread it. I think I need a little bit more brightness under my eyes so I'm gonna quickly take a bit more semi concealer and I tried to put less makeup on my nose and right here really really thinly so that's the place that people see first so if that place is kind of thin then it doesn't give it away like hey I'm wearing five pounds of makeup take a regular finishing powder makeup forever soft flat brush and just dust it over the areas of my face that get shiny a little bit around the nose and around the mouth on the eyebrows eyebrow mascara and I think I'm done I'm done. Thank you guys for coming and watching.